Saints fans are gearing up for Sunday's game against Tampa Bay. And a Saints game day is always special day, a special day for Steve Gleason. Jane McCarthy from our sister station in Spokane, Washington, spent game day with number 37, who continues to inspire New Orleans. Who's ready? Inside Steve Gleason and Michelle Verisco's New Orleans home. Well, you better get ready. The stockings are hung in salute to the kind of cheerful chaos only the holidays can bring. Don't be fooled by the sword fighting. This is a welcoming bunch. If you watched the Gleason documentary, Powerful and Highly Personal, you'd likely feel that familiarity here too. Vinny, hold yours up a little more. Plus, who can't relate to the struggle of trying to corral the whole crew into a festive greeting? Everybody say Merry Christmas. One, two, three. Merry Christmas! But this isn't just Christmas card day, it's game day too. Game days are mostly about having fun and creating memories with Rivers and Michelle. Michelle and Steve married in 2008. Then came now six-year-old Rivers, named after the peaceful rivers of the Emma Northwest. Steve grew to love when he was a child himself. Spoken and the Inland Empire are where my roots were formed. I'm confident that I am the person I am today. Because I was raised in the Northwest, I miss the area every day. And as he loads up with family and friends on the way to the Superdome, reminded why Steve loves New Orleans too. This is a unique city, and I've loved the city almost from the very beginning of my time here 18 years ago. There are so many things to love about New Orleans, but ultimately, I love this place because of the people who live here. The feeling is intensely mutual. What do you think he means to this city? Oh, hope faith and hope. They're excited to come up to him and you know and, and Steve's the great type of person where he'll always give them the time of day. Hi there. Happy Sunday. How are you doing? I love Steve Gleason. I love him. We have that love covered from all angles at the recent Saints Panthers game. Well, we lost one of those angles actually when Rivers got a hold of our GoPro camera. Rivers just lost a tooth by the way. He's kind of proud of it. Steve and Team Gleason are also proud to be the center of attention today. A local fundraiser drummed up $50,000 for Team Gleason to help people with ALS live a better life now and search for a cure for the future. But he's done so much good for people. So he took a, a lemon and made it lemon drop. Steve's unique brand of inspiration translates into another beloved Gleason game day tradition. Fans know when Steve starts heading toward the tunnel, he's about to greet the Saints players right before they take the field. Uh, the first game back in the Dome was very emotional for all of us. I mean, a lot of us were still in trailers. We hadn't had a place to live. The people of the city still tender and recovering at the time. A by Steve Gleason. That's when Gleason flies out of nowhere to block a punt returned for a Saints touchdown. That's what I'm talking about. Yes! Yes! It lifted a city in a time of suffering, a moment that 10 years later still conjures up chills. He's such a hero to all of us in the city, especially after Katrina. And we show, we show him the sign every game. So we're glad he's here sharing it with us. It was just amazing. And, and he was the reason that we all came together again to realize we had to do what we had to do and we had to get to it. We had to do what we had to do and we had to get to it. That's what the people of New Orleans did then and what Steve did years later when diagnosed with ALS. No white flags. It's good to see you here. We've learned Steve isn't about to give up, even in the face of ALS. His mom tells me that's the way Steve was born. But I'm willing to bet a little of New Orleans has rubbed off on Steve, too. This city breeds and attracts unique, outrageous people, innovative people who see opportunity where others see chaos, persistent people who rebuild when their city or their lives fall apart, fierce people who protect what they love, and love a great deal. They love and are clearly loved by this guy. It seems the kid from Spokane ended up exactly where he needs to be.
Gleason's charity Team Gleason will benefit from an event on New Year's Day. The Iceman Dip and Dash will have participants plunging into the ice cold Jafuncta River. After a four mile run, we have a link for more information on WWLTV.com.